Domesticated crop plants we know today are often unrecognizable from their original ancestors. This phenotypic divergence results from thousands of selection cycles for desirable traits such as increased productivity, enhanced nutrition and resistance to pests. The genetic diversity of conventional breeding is limited to natural varieties and spontaneous mutations, and the causal genes behind the traits often remain unknown. Genetic engineering has the potential to bring the success of breeding to the next level. Many genes have been described that regulate growth and enhance productivity when modified. However, similar growth-related processes are regulated by many genes, resulting in a complex, interconnected genetic network. Therefore, combining genes and eventually network engineering can be a successful strategy. This is demonstrated by the triple mutant we describe here, in which organ size is dramatically enhanced, outperforming all single and double mutants. Multiple genes can be stacked in one transformation event using large binary vectors, but also sequentially with trait landing pads. Recently, several genes can be mutated at once using CRISPR-Cas multiplex genome editing. However, constitutive overexpression or downregulation of genes often results in undesired pleiotropic effects. For example, a gene that promotes cell expansion can have a negative effect on cell number, or the absence of a gene can enhance growth but reduce fertility. A profound knowledge of the action of such growth-promoting genes and their global effect on plant development is therefore essential. This knowledge can allow us to avoid such undesired effects by modulating the expression of growth-regulating genes in a specific spatio-temporal manner. This can be achieved by using endogenous or even synthetic promoters. Such synthetic promoters could be derived from enriched sequences in promoter regions of genes that show a similar expression pattern over development or upon a certain treatment. Because these synthetic promoters are derived from very conserved motifs, they could have the potential to break the species barrier. Using these approaches, complete optimized orthogonal networks can be created to arm plants against adverse conditions or improve plant growth beyond its limits.